Happening in this week's What the... The National Science Foundation released a video taken the moment the Arecibo Radio Observatory's cables failed allowing its massive instrument panel to crash into the dish below. The video of the collapse comes from a monitoring system put in place in the wake of the cable failure recently. Due to the danger of further cable breaks, the NSF had instituted a no-go zone around each of the three towers that supported the cables. With no personnel around to get close enough to inspect the cables, the staff started monitoring them using daily drone flights, one of which was actually in process during the collapse. In addition, a video camera was installed on top of the visitor center, which had a clear view of the instrument platform and one of the support towers. Despite all this destruction, the NSF's decision to keep the area around the towers clear of personnel ensured that nobody was injured, and even the visitor center, which was uh, near one of the towers, managed to escape without significant damage. Thanks for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think we need to feature on the program, get in touch with me, DJ Ray McNeil at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook at your weekly tech update and check out the podcast, audio and video versions available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, Audio Burst, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. And now, here's your moment of joy. Tech Update brought to you by Holiday Home Care, Phillip Island, Victoria, Australia. It's your turn to relax. Before you get on holiday on the island, contact Holiday Home Care. We can set up your residence or holiday rental, do the shopping for you, provide linen and towels, and make sure it's all ready by the time you get here, giving you more time to enjoy what Phillip Island has to offer. For more information, visit HolidayHomeCarePI.com or email HolidayHomeCarePI at gmail.com.